Hello and welcome to Comprehensible English. Today we're going to be talking about murals that are graffiti sprayed on walls all over the world. This is a common sight pretty much wherever you live. Local artists like to spray big paintings onto walls just to make the place look a little bit nicer. In this picture it looks like we have a wolf. He has pointy ears and a long bushy tail. They've kind of drawn this picture so that there's some of his outside elements like the fur and the nose and the tail but most of it is his internals. You have the skeleton and the teeth and ribs legs, intestines, and his heart. It's kind of neat how they've combined the elements in this picture. It looks so vivid. Here, a guy is standing in front of a mural and taking a picture. This seems to happen quite a bit. He's wearing gray pants and a gray and black shirt that has a picture of a bike on it. In the mural, the lady is looking up towards the sky and has her fingers over her eyes and is looking through them. So the guy is doing the exact same thing. At the bottom, it is written fearless in nice orange letters while the rest of the painting is black and white. This girl, it looks like she's doing a yoga pose in front of a mural of B.B. King. She's wearing white shoes, black pants, a white and black striped shirt, and a blue jean jacket. She's wearing sunglasses, and she's holding a coffee. B.B. King was one of the greatest blues singers of all time. You can see his guitar here with black and a white boundary and the neck of the guitar as well as the strings. He's also wearing sunglasses. Now this building to me looks like a giant robot. It has two great big eyes which I think are similar to the earth. And he has a nose, which looks to be a church, as well as a pyramid. And he has eyebrows, which are angels' wings. And there's lots of angels in throughout. A lot of religious symbols on this mural. And here's another church, and the sun, and the moon. It must have taken so long to make this. Now here we have a cute little colorful fish drawn on the outside of this building. It has two eyes and a nose and a mouth and a couple of flippers. Then over here we have more ocean themed pictures. We have waves crashing in on the beach and a lady or a man coming out of the water. There's seagulls flying away and then a lady looking off to the right. I really like the smoke in this picture. It looks like it's probably a cold day and this is steam rising out of the manhole cover. In the background we can see a bright beautiful painting there is a lady looking to the right. She has long hair that starts out black and then turns a deep bright red and orange. It almost looks like it's on fire. Then there's oranges and greens and reds and blues. There are so many colors in this picture. Now this is the big city of 
dreams you can see a picture of a lady looking forward her hair is flowing down the sides and it looks like she's wearing a hat she's got her arm is reaching up to touch her hair or her hat and she's looking through a big triangle you can see that all of the elements are made from different pictures there's waves and an eye this looks actually like a gorilla face and then we have some buildings and a circus and there are so many neat elements to discover this picture has a lot of depth to it here a guy is walking in front of a mural it seems like a realistic picture of a male this one is a dragon you can see its fangs and its tongue and it seems to have horns and bright glowing eyes it's on a blue background and it looks like there are flowers in the front and then it goes all the way back to its tail now this girl is laughing in this picture she's standing in front of the mural that has a lady laughing you can see her teeth showing and her mouth open up wide she is laughing so loudly so this girl is imitating and doing the same thing you can see flowers in the hair of the mural and there are feathers down here as well as a bird and she's wearing big gold dangly earrings now this picture the mural looks so big you can see a guy walking in the front so it must be one two three stories tall because it's about three times as big as him you have two guys smoking cigars and looking in different directions this guy has a raven sitting on a raven or a blackbird sitting on his cigar and this guy has a pigeon sitting on his in the front it looks like there's construction they've set up guardrails and safety barrels to keep the area safe now on this wall it looks like this was a painting of a mask you can see two eyes and the eyebrows and the mask would swing around your face but you can see that this guy decided to stand in front of it and it looks like he has giant wings out each side of his body and then a halo over his head it looks like he's an angel there's green trees growing up in the front and then bright orange ones in the back it must be fall in this picture now this guy matches this picture quite well with his clothing he's wearing a white shirt with a white background and then a red undershirt which matches the red in along the pipes there are two people that are saying cheers on New Year's Eve it looks like there's a Stella emblem and a lion and it looks like it's in Chicago there's yellow and red pipes and blue waves going in through the top one looks like it's the sky whereas the bottom might be the river and you have some clouds off to the right there's a sailboat in the background going through the water now this one it kind of confused me at first because I wasn't sure what she was putting in her mouth I thought it was food but you can see that it goes around her wrist 
I think it's the end of her bracelet that she's just touching to her tongue. She has black hair along the sides and then a white mohawk along the top. It kind of looks pretty punk rock to me. And this one is the same guy standing in front of a Chicago sign. You can see that each letter goes back pretty deep and it has a picture of stuff that is famous in Chicago. You have some pizza and some of the buildings downtown, one of the monuments, the Cubs. It is so colorful. And this one makes me laugh. You have I Love Cabaret Beach and you have a big monkey with large ears and a furry face is wearing pink sunglasses. In the sunglasses you can see a reflection of the beach with palm trees and the ocean hills in behind as well as the sun that looks to be setting. I love the colors in this picture. Now here this one is really creative. It looks like there was a sheet covering the entire picture and this giant hand is pulling it back so that you can see the murals that are hiding in underneath. And it looks like lots of people have put in little words and emblems. You can see hay and busy and a lot of other stuff. It's kind of a neat picture. This one says, don't cry because it is over. Smile because it happened. I think in this cafe, they're trying to make their customers happier. You can see chairs sitting in front of tables. There's white, yellow, black, and green chairs. The girl in the picture has bright flowing hair and it looks like there's feathers or a bird here too. Now here is more of a Buddhist style mural. You have a Buddha in the middle and we have one, two, three, four, five, six arms all doing different things. This one is mixing music. Oh, and seven and eight. I missed those two at first. This one is reading a book. Here we're drinking some coffee. Here we have a nice beach drink. We're on our phone. Looks like we're spinning a pizza. And this is working on a laptop. And here we are eating a salad. There are so many things that we do in a day. And it seems like this picture is depicting just some of those common things. You can see how our attention is divided. Some is calm, whereas other faces are looking in the other directions. And I'm curious if this is sign language up along the top. If anybody knows, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining me today. If you liked the video, please click like and subscribe.